Hi, I'm Regis Woods, and you're watching Hashtag Doha 2015. This is Hashtag Doha 2015, where you come for all your weird and wonderful bits from the IPC Athletics World Championships. Coming up, we catch up with one of the biggest stars in Doha, we take a trip to the movies, and we set another challenge for commentator Evan O'Hanlon. Hi, I'm Evan O'Hanlon, and I nailed my selfie challenge the other day. See how I get on today in my commentary challenge. Mm. I love a good movie. Don't you? And have we got a blockbuster for you? Jackie Christensen, the Danish destroyer, about to win gold in the F-44 shot. Adrian Matusi, the super Slovakian, his final throw, his last shot at gold. What a win for the Slovak. Did he just win by one centimetre? Oh, can, can someone help clean this up? And can I get some more popcorn? One of my favourite moments of the competition so far was Marcus Rem's incredible leap of 8 metres 40 to win the long jump T42 on Friday. Now I've been trying to get my head around just how big that jump is, but what do you know? Here's Marcus to tell me for himself. Hey JJ, I'm glad you like my jump. You want to know how far it is? So check this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, 28, 29, 30. So 30 guys and well, hopefully I can go in uh, Rio for a bit more. Cheers Marcus, thanks for clearing it up for us. Now, in the last episode of Hashtag, we got to see my mate Dave Henson preparing for his international debut in the 200 meters T42 heats. Well, Dave finished third to qualify for the final tomorrow. Not bad considering he's been running for just over a year. But the man they'll all have to beat is his fellow Brit, Richard Whitehead, who stormed through his heat in a world record time. Richard's run was one of six world records today, which brings our total up to 33. Now, let's check out the medals table. China are now 13 gold ahead of Russia, with the United States on 10, three ahead of Britain and Australia. Now let's have a quick look at our tweets and messages for the day. Our first tweet comes from at Glenn's Gal. I'm crying my eyes out with happiness. Hashtag Croatia is so proud. You're hashtag beyond incredible, Branimir. And that was congratulating Branimir Budicic of Croatia on his gold and world record in the Javelin F13. And our next tweet comes from Alad Davis MBE. You can see this picture of him getting seen to by the physios, being pieced back together for the discus final tomorrow night. And that'll be at 5.20 UK time. Hope I can make you all proud. After the success of his selfie challenge earlier in the series, you and our athletes in Doha set world champion and commentator Evan O'Hanlon another task of getting song titles into his commentary. Can Evan strike the right note? My challenge is for you to include It's Raining Men in your commentary. The athletes in this event are getting quite some height. I know it's called long jump, but they're actually jumping quite high. And if you were sitting down in the stands there, unawares of the competition going on, you may be forgiven for thinking it was Raining Men. I challenge Evan to get Blame It On The Boogie into his commentary. A false start there. You can't blame it on the athletes. You can't blame it on the starters. You just have to blame it on the boogie and they get away at the second time of asking. Jackie Christensen, a big name. He really is super califragilistic and expialidocious over the last couple of years. But this man from Slovakia standing up atop the podium and saying, I am the walrus. I want you to get this one in. Itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini. Li Wung Jiang, well in front by 200 metres and opting here to compete in a long sleeve t-shirt. I've seen a couple of the Chinese athletes complete, competing in the long sleeve this week. Quite a surprise in the Doha heat. Maddie Di Rosario back in the Australian hotel, she once told me that she would prefer to compete in a itsy bitsy yellow... 
This challenge was a lot tougher, but I think you're going to have to come up with something better for the next couple of days. Great work, Evan, but we're not finished with you yet. Now for our moment of the day, and it comes from American Lex Gillette in a long jump T11. The totally blind jumper veered off course in the fourth round. You could say it was a close shave for Gillette. But what a comeback from the world record holder in the very next round with a winning jump of 6 meters 38. What a leap from Gillette. It truly was the best a man can get. All right, that's your lot. Remember, comments below and hashtag Doha2015. Later.